Two News at 6, a lawsuit has been filed against a Centerville-based financial group alleging that they failed to recognize millions of dollars being stolen from clients by one of their advisors. It's a story that involves dozens of victims, millions of dollars, mistresses, luxury homes, and attempted cover-up. Two News investigative reporter Darby Sparks covering the original story. Darby was there for a new announcement that happened this morning. Behind me is the office building of Wealth Navigation Advisors. It's the firm that Steven Swenson was a financial advisor for during the last years of his alleged Ponzi scheme. In the lawsuit, his former client claims that he lost nearly a million dollars to fraud due to the firm's neglect to oversee Swenson's dealings. The answer is that we'll never get is why. Mark Fox says he and Swenson were friends for over 20 years when he agreed to invest his family's retirement savings with Crew Capital in 2019. It was a fraudulent company Swenson created in 2011 as a front for him to funnel money from his clients into his personal account, according to an October lawsuit filed by the Securities Exchange Commission, to fund his lavish lifestyle. Just talking about it, I'm filled with disgust. To say that was a shock and that we are furious would be a gross understatement. The lawsuit says the decade-long Ponzi scheme claimed over 50 victims to the tune of $30 million. Fox's attorney says the scheme was in full swing when Swenson was signed on by Wealth Navigation Advisors in 2018, and they allegedly failed to recognize it. How could this go on for over a decade without someone noticing? He and his wife lost $850,000 because of Swenson's fraud and WNA's failure to detect the multi-million dollar swindle occurring in plain sight. The firm fired Swenson for soliciting clients to invest in unauthorized dealings on June 6th, the same day he took his own life. Fox is the second person Two News Investigates has spoken to that has lost an entire lifetime's worth of savings to Swenson's scheme. Last year, Courtney Hall, the daughter of an elderly couple who invested their savings with Swenson, spoke about the dire consequences of losing their money. My dad had two strokes and has cancer, and Steve was sitting in front of him telling him that they're going to have enough money to pay for all of his cancer treatments and was taking it from him. They've lost everything. Hall updated us that they have still not recovered any of the stolen money. Imagine working hard your whole life to save for retirement, only to learn that you have to start from square one. I reached out to Wealth Navigation Advisors via email, asking how the scheme went unnoticed during Swenson's time there, or if anyone knew anything about it. I haven't received a comment. In Centerville, for Two News Investigates, I'm Darby Sparks.